So I just did a video about Lynn's black 40th anniversary package 2004 Mustang GT convertible and I mentioned that her husband ended up actually getting one as well only in the crimson red which was only offered on the 40th anniversary package Mustangs. So the story behind this car was that her husband John was looking for an SN95 Mustang GT to have as a daily driver and to tinker with and have some fun with and Lynn, the wife, had been looking around on the internet at other 40th anniversary package cars like the one she has and she came across a crimson red automatic convertible basically just like hers only red and lobbied hard that he should buy this instead of the other cars he was looking at and he said who am I to argue it was at a dealership about 500 miles away and he said that it was a great dealership to deal with and they even delivered the car for a modest fee so this GT turned into John's daily driver commuter for several years. It wasn't in as good as condition as Lynn's car, which would be hard to beat because her car was basically flawless. It had a few minor dings, some road rash, and some squeaks and rattles, um, but they would get around to addressing those things. When he stopped using it for a commuting vehicle, he began to work on it. The local paintless dent guy did a great job getting all the dings out and he did a lot of paint correction and detailing to the car. John added subframe connectors and a strut tower brace to the engine bay to help take care of the rattles. The next thing they did, which I found surprising on a number of levels, is they pulled out the solid axle and decided to do a IRS conversion. Now what's cool about that is he said his wife Lynn doesn't mind getting her hands dirty and she helped with the whole job so that's really cool. You can see the IRS hanging there from their lift and so while they had that all out, they decided to add H&R Sport lowering springs, Cobra brakes, and Bilstein dampeners. And with the IRS conversion, you need to change the exhaust, so he went ahead and added a nice Borla exhaust. And so here are some pictures of the good job he did with the brakes, making them look really nice. The rotors look really good, and you can see the calipers now on the front are bigger, and those bigger calipers are dual piston, and they have the uh, Cobra lettering on them, so those are Cobra calipers. And the rears are actually the same calipers, but the discs are bigger and the brackets are bigger. He added a B&M hammer shifter for better control of the automatic, and he was saying that it helped him realize the limitations of that transmission, that it's a really good transmission but it's factory tuned for economy and smooth operation so he's thinking of maybe doing a shift kit and gears and maybe another tune and so he's more looking just to make it a little more responsive I also like in this picture while we're here to see that 40th anniversary badge that I had talked about when we were looking at Lynn's GT and everything we talked about that so you can see that here on his 40th anniversary car and so then, cosmetically, he decided to add a style bar and a custom painted Cervini's cover on the back, which covers the back seat area there, like Lynn's car, but this one's just a little more aggressive. But I think that looks really good. I really like those style bars. I think they look good on the convertibles, and that cover looks good because you can do whatever you want with a custom piece like that. And I like how he integrated the stripes through there. That looks really good. So he took off the stock valve covers and upgraded them. I think it looks really good with the running pony on there. That's a really nice thing to have in the engine bay. And that engine bay does look good. You can see that strut tower brace he added and a coolant expansion take. And I really like how it has the factory stickers on there. He also added a cold air intake and a few other engine dress up modifications. And the caster camper plates too from Maximum Motorsports. I also had those on my Red 04 Mach 1 and I have them on my Red 03 Cobra and I think they're a great piece. I think the car looks great and the stance of the car looks wonderful. It's lowered just right and it looks aggressive. He did add a Mach 1 chin spoiler and a Mach 1 grill delete. And in this picture I can't help but notice the factory 40th anniversary package Cobra mirrors or export mirrors. Those look great on this car. And something he said about this car, which I agree with, is that it will never be done. There's always something that you want to do to it or something that needs to be upgraded or fixed on it, so I think that's pretty cool. Something else I noticed while looking at this car that is actually kind of rare that I noticed in the pictures is it has the entry keypad on the door. I've rarely seen any Mustangs that have that. 
that was listed in the Mustang Ford brochure, so it could have been a dealer add-on or a factory option, but anyway, it's pretty cool to see that on a car like this because it's just something that you never really see. And so it's really cool to see a husband and wife who share a similar hobby and they have really cool 40th anniversary GT package cars. That's really rare in itself just to see two of those together and it's cool that they own them, they enjoy them together and they go on cruises and they go to their local car meets and they really enjoy driving the cars around. So this is what it's about and getting together with friends and going on cruises and enjoying the cars. So I'm really happy for them and I'm grateful for the friendship that they have made with me. Um, with making the story about Lynn's car and John's car and be able to uh, read through their emails and see how nice they are. Like I said in the other video, they both say really nice things about my YouTube channel and my brothers and how they look forward to watching our videos and I think that's very kind of them um, to support me in that way. So I want to thank everybody who watches these videos and for the people like them who are out there who watch these videos, thank you for uh, what you do and being part of the Mustang community. And stay tuned for more of these Mustang stories.